Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello, welcome, everyone. Welcome to another weekly Wednesday live stream. I'm your host, Peter. And I'm Mike. That's Mike, of course. You know it's, Mike. It's been a while. Uh, all right, so, uh, yeah, the box, obviously, if you know our gaming cards, uh, you'll be familiar with the box design. Uh, here you go. The nice card at the front, Gaming X Trio. Uh, of course, it says a 3060 Ti right there. It should be green, but w yeah. Uh, yeah, because I of mean, chroma key, it looks uh, a little maybe, bit funky. No, huh? I, I mean, tur turning it doesn't really improve things. No. It's, uh, it's uh, magical, it's uh, see-through. Uh, and at the back, of course, are some of the features, but I, I prefer showing them to you uh, on the real card. But uh, yeah, in case you, you get your hands on one of the boxes in the, sh in the store, you can always read up on some of the features that are on the card. Uh, inside the box, then, you will find... 60 Hertz is asking, is TI better than Founders? Um, it, it's not specifically related to each other. You yeah. also have uh, 3060 Ti Founders Edition. Yes. Um, I mean, the TI is, it it's refers to the cooling. GPU itself. And then yeah. within the GPU, like, for example, in this case, the 3060 Ti is the GPU. And then you have uh, the Founders Edition, which is the NVIDIA design. And you have custom designs, like, for example, our Gaming X Trio, which I'm about to show you. Um, so yeah, the TI, yes, there is a Founders Edition. It's not better than the Founders Edition because it is the Founders Edition and it is this card as well. Does that make sense? It's the same GPU in a different yes. card with a different cooler base. Exactly. Um, all right, so yeah, inside the box you will find uh, uh, this little uh, envelope, this little black envelope that, that uh, yeah, contains some things like you know, the installation guide and stuff like that. So if you're not familiar with building a machine, this is your first time, it's always nice to have like, a little bit of help to you know, take you through the process step by step. Uh, or you and can you've watch got one of our previous live streams where we built PCs. Uh, yep, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, just yeah, build exactly. along with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've got some uh, other things like a graphic card support bracket, uh, which is also in the box, which I'll show you how to apply that. Uh, yeah, I mean, s some paperwork here for you to read through. Uh, mostly just, you know, to help you out, help you get started. Uh, so if you are an experienced uh, PC builder, you probably don't have to look inside it too much. Um, so we can just move that to the side here. And there it is. So as you can see, there's two things physically in the box. One is, of course, the graphics card itself. And then under that, uh, and I'll take that out just for you guys right now, is uh, the graphics card support bracket. Uh, let's see, oh, there is an opening, here we go. Then I don't have to demolish the plastic. Uh, so it's a metal support bracket. Uh, it goes under the card. Actually, I'm holding it upside down. Should be like this, here we go. Uh, very stylish. Uh, you know, won't stand out too much because we, you know, the graphics card should get all the attention, not this thing. Uh, basically, this uh, is perfect for if you are going to uh, move the PC or take it with you somewhere, and you just mount this under the graphics card and, and make sure that the graphics card is leaning on this, so that then during transport, if you hit any kind of bumps or stuff like that, then you know th this will help the card, uh, yeah stay in position and uh, give it some extra support. Uh, otherwise, other than that, it's not really necessary uh, in your build. Uh, just, you know, use it if you feel more comfortable with it. Uh, but again, it's not really required. It's not that we're saying that this card is too heavy and it cannot uh, be in the PC on its own without the additional You help. don't void any warranty if you don't nope. use it. It's, exactly. It's up to you if it's you want to use mandatory. it. It's not yeah. mandatory. It's completely optional uh, and it's up to you to use it or not. All right. Put that thing back in here. And then to the main event. Whoa. So this card is for you know for a 3060 Ti, it's still big. It's a big boy. But that's a good thing. Uh, because that also means that the cooling is really good. I mean, I've seen the reviews already, uh, also compared to some of the, for example, the Founders Edition, but also other uh, competitor models. Uh, the cooling is really good. Uh, which means that you get uh, good performance, but also not too much noise. So as you can see, triple fan, uh, three times the torque fan 4.0, which can be recognized by uh, two fan blades working in pairs. So as you can see, there's the outer link between the fan blades. Uh, also, the uh, in the heatsink, the wave pattern on the on the uh, fins right there and on the back of course also the other features uh, that are on all the uh, gaming cards uh, for example the indentations here or the deflectors as we call them um, 
that help to uh, split the air up and, and uh, point them a bit more towards the heat pipes, which actually get quite hot. Uh, and, and that helps to cool the card a bit better. And at the same time, creating a bit more surface area, which also, again, helps to uh, cool better, cooling efficiency. So as the front, looks really nice. Uh, as I showed, by the way, uh, last time, I'm not sure if this one actually, damn, this looks so shiny. Last time I showed you guys that there was like a little sticker on the little fan uh, in the middle of the fan, right? Like a little plastic cover. I really don't know if there's one on here now. It looks so shiny that I don't think there is. But just to be sure, I'm going to see if, I, if there is one on here. I don't think so. Don't damage it. No, <laughs> I mean, this, it's, it's brushed <coughs> aluminum, so you, know, you, can, you can scratch it with your fingernails and it, you, know, you won't really see anything. Uh, but yeah, last time I just saw it, it looked a bit uh, like it was damaged and it turned out that there was a little plastic uh, protective cover on it, which I could peel off and then it looked shiny as hell again. Lissandra is asking recommended PSU uh, for Game Games Trio, and Dean already answered, indeed, it's 650 watts. Ah, there you go. Yeah. And it doesn't mean you cannot use a lower rated uh, power supply. It, it depends on, on the rest of your system as well. Yeah. Um, but that's what we recommend to keep a little bit of headroom. Um, if you want to do a little bit of overclocking, if you want to do very heavy overclocking, of <laughs> course, take a little bit more powerful yes. uh, power supply. Exactly. Uh, one second. I'm also going to grab something here. Uh, Anyway, um, yeah, so as you can see, it's quite a long card as well. Um, at the back side, you can see the back plate. Uh, this is, yeah, a really nice brushed looking back plate. And as you see, it doesn't extend, uh, or sorry, the PCB doesn't extend all the way. So you do have the holes. It's similar to the uh, 3070 in that way, that you have holes in the back of the uh, heat, uh, sorry, yeah, the heatsink and the uh, back plate here. So, as uh, I think it's called the flow through design. Uh, so it, it's kind of the same effect that the Founders Edition has. So some of the air, at, the, at least at the rear of the card, will be blown through, uh, yeah, through the card here and then out through uh, this side of the back plate. And then hopefully, you know, you've got good airflow in your case, which means then the hot air will be picked up by uh, the airflow and exited out of the case like that. Um, yeah, very nice uh, on the side as well. Again, uh, the MSI logo, the, the mandatory GeForce RTX branding. Uh, some really nice RGB, which uh, I can show you guys uh, on the card that's actually in the case. Uh, two 8-pin connectors. Yola uh, Swag was already asking that. How's the RGB? You will see it later on. <laughs> yeah, glorious. It is glorious. But yes, um, two 8-pin connectors. Uh, this is due to the uh, bit higher, because I've seen some, some of the uh, 3060Ti's are, uh, can work with only a single 8-pin connector. This is because of the uh, higher power limit that we have on this card. So again, the uh, Founders Edition, so the, basically the reference uh, spec for uh, 3060Ti is 200 watts uh, power usage. Uh, out of the box, the Gaming X Trio can uh, take up to uh, 240 watts. And I believe uh, the absolute power limit, so basically what you can set as max power limit in uh, Afterburner is 250 watts even. So yeah, uh, then you need a little bit more uh, power to have access to. So that's why two eight pins. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's very similar design to the uh, 3060 gaming, which uh, is a really good thing. Because that one was already very, very cool. And 3070 very good. Oh, sorry, 30, what did I say? 3060. Jesus. There are so many numbers these days. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, uh, compared to the 3070. There you go. Uh, yeah, the capacitors, I'm not really going to look at that. I hope people aren't paying too much attention to that anymore. Again, it's, uh, it, it can differ per card. Uh, uh, there is an, an NVIDIA spec, and there's different combinations possible. Uh, you can see, uh, of course, this generation, uh, everywhere visible, the leaf spring to add more mounting pressure to the cooler on the GPU. So I'm that waiting really for chat to scream, leaked, leaked. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm tr just trying to look up for you guys uh, how long the card actually is. I mean, in terms of width, you can see that uh, this uh, the, the I.O. panel here, that's two slots. So it's a bit more than two, I would say 2.7, uh, something like that. But yeah, effectively, it'll take up three uh, extension slots. And for the length, Let's see. I mean, you can, you can find all the specifications on the website. Uh, that's also what I'm doing right now. 
Uh, I don't know all these things from the top of my head, but it's uh, 323 millimeters. So yeah, 32.3 centimeters. So that does mean that you need to make sure you have enough space in your case for this. Um, uh, that's again, that's not a bad thing. Uh, and yeah, your, your, your whole build should be easily able to handle it. Also to support that weight, of course, we have uh, on the graphics card itself, we have this anti-bending uh, strip here. Uh, again, when, when I start opening up the card, you'll see it. And yeah, that really helps to support the card. There's a lot of screws on the back plate, basically, that, that connect uh, to the bending plate or the anti-bending plate, sorry, uh, at multiple points. Uh, so they go through the PCB and then, you know, uh, into the anti-bending plate, for example, to uh, yeah, really make the card a lot, you know, quite rigid. So when I'm trying, I'm actually trying to twist the card now and really nothing is giving, so it, it's a really sturdy card. Build quality is really good. Uh, yeah, what you're used to from us. Always. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we hope you liked the stream, we hope you got some good information, we hope you answered, we answered most or if not at least a lot of your questions. Uh, it's impossible to answer all of your questions, trust me. Uh, the, the, the chat is just, you know, it keeps scrolling up so it's even hard to keep track. We but hope we gave some useful answers at least. Exactly. Uh, and if not, there's always next week, so you can always ask us questions during the next live stream. We hope to see you guys next week, and uh, have a nice one for now. See you next week. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>